Welcome back. It's fair to say we've been fairly disappointed with the new Pandora boxes from the last few years. Not one cared for sharp pixels, or even aspect ratio. With the eSports we were promised online play, that didn't work. And then for the Pandora Box X, even with the addition of N64, Dreamcast and PSP, we still couldn't recommend it over the older DX. Did any of our feedback get through to them? We don't know. But now 3A are releasing a new Pandora Box. Welcome to Team Pandora. Subscribble. So let's have a look what we have. This is the listing in AliExpress, and they have both Family and Jammer variants. It's a plug and play emulation box, and with Pandora boxes, we usually cannot change many options. Nice to see we've got some Naomi and a Thomas Wave, but the big addition, light gun games. Flea at Pandora Magazine has had a look at the games included, but personally, I'm a bit more interested in the technology behind the Zapper. Is it using a similar system to Gunfarer? Maybe, but we need to get one and crack it open to find out. It also works on PC, so it might be a nice purchase even if you don't have the Pandora box. But I do wonder if a genuine Gunfarer works on the Pandora box 10th. Let's have a look at the specs. So according to this, the CPU has been clocked to 2.2 GHz on each core. And we've heard that it's the Rockchip RK3566, which is the same one found in the RG353 handhelds by Ambenic. It's actually a pretty good chip, but if it's not overclocked, I would not expect good PSP performance. Some inside information here is that there's a 3588S variant to come, labelled the Ultimate Pandora. No clue for when it's due, but it has double the cores and seems to be a bit of a beast. We can only guess to how much it'll cost, but why get a Pandora box when you can get a mini PC for a similar price? Let's get back to the specs. It says 2GB, but from experience, it'll be meaning gigabits, so 256MB RAM. We have 1080p, but more importantly, we have CGA support. This is video out running on the Jammer Edge, if you have a vintage arcade or candy cab, you should be able to plug this sucker right up. Just remember to get the Jammer variant, as this will not work on a family unit. The last Jammer board from 3A to work with CGA is the DX. It was okay, but added a bilinear blur to anything but the CPS games. It made things feel out of focus, and this is one thing we really hope they've improved on the new model. They've added Wi-Fi and a network port. We doubt they've added a store, but could they be trying for multiplayer? Or is it for Android usage? There are only two USB ports. Definitely need more if you want to use 0J encoders and maybe a trackball. Big balls. Three languages. Would like more. And it's interesting how they sectioned off the vertical games. Do we have Tate mode? We certainly hope so. But having more support for systems is certainly welcomed. But no Amiga? Unhappy face. Looking at the new features list now. Alphabetical order. Is that only to search game or is that the actual list? Having different button maps, this is very welcomed as is support for switching aspect ratio. Separate coin shoots for 4-play games? Great! Then the setting to hide all console games. Ooh, nice. So here's a game that's scaled to 4.3. And here's the option in the pause menu. The screenshot here demonstrates how we can filter by emulator. While this is a good feature, I can't help notice that it uses FBA and not the newer Final Burn Neo. So is it going to be worth the money? Right now, it's hard to tell. What's promised and what is delivered can be very different. When it comes to Pandora boxes, the hardware needs to be complemented by the software. If it's not, you've gone and purchased a paperweight. If you still want to get one, the link's down below. But if you want to hold on for a bit, we'll make a video review once it arrives. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandora, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!